Hundreds of families in Assam have been left homeless after the Brahmaputra River's erosion and floods destroyed their homes and lands. While the flood situation is now improving, the hardships for the affected remain severe. Many residents are still living on roads, bridges, embankments and highlands as their homes remain submerged. The Assam State Disaster Management Authority reports that this year's floods have claimed 96 lives, affecting 5.11 lakh people across 17 districts. Nibir Deka is joining us for more details on this story. Nibir, uh, this has certainly been a very tough year for residents of Assam affected by floods. And now even in areas where the flood water is receding, their hardships continue. Well, if you see that the situation improved in Assam in the last two days, where the rainfall was uh, lessened and also the major rivers, including the Pamaputra, the waters had receded. But since the last 24 hours or so, it has been raining again continuously, and even now it's currently raining. And as such, the, the risk of the flood waters again entering those vulnerable areas has risen because of the incessant rainfall that we have been witnessing again in Assam. So the situation, although has improved, remains really critical in the sense that the government is working on post-flood managements and they are trying to rehabilitate those people who have lost their houses and also uh, had to face a lot of issues that came with the floods. But now again, with the rainfalls coming back, the situation can amplify further and the situation get, can get more critical. And as such, the Assam government has always been 24 into 7 alert and they are also working uh, in, in full uh, war mode to uh, prevent any further loss of lives or any damage of public property vis-a-vis -vis the floods that we have seen in the last uh, 10 days or so. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.